What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Let's Chat discussion video. So today we're going to be talking about the latest leak from The Sims 4 team. Um, the next kit pack le leaked. So if you remember the whole summer of selves or season of selves thing, whatever you want to call it, they teased a um, like something about a modern sanctuary um let me see if i can find that uh let's see sims uh <laughs> the sims i just want to see what they had it like what they said about it in the teaser oh it, they okay they just have sanctuary vibes but i feel like they said something about modern sanctuary Maybe not. I don't know. But that pack has leaked, and we now know that it's going to be a plant-based kit pack. So it's going to be called... Um, I have it right here, but I can't find it. Uh, Blooming Rooms Kit. The Sims 4 Blooming Rooms Kit is what this kit is going to be called. And it's a pack filled with new plants and... I'm gonna hop over to the Sims community.info to like tell you about it and then I'll give my thoughts on it. You can kind of, you can probably already tell by the title of this video what my thoughts of this kit pack is, but yeah. So we're gonna go to the Sims community post. I'll tell you more about the kit and the leak and then I'll give my, uh, my thoughts. Okay guys, so here we are over on the Sims community.info. I'll link this down below if you wanna read it and if I remember. But it says leak the Sims 4 Blooming Room Kit. Sanctuary Vibes was the teaser. Um, Sanctuary Vibe Kit tease now has an official name. It seems that the Xbox store has made another leak. So the Xbox store is who leaked this. Um, I guess on their, on their store, you know, if you go to the Xbox store, it was there. And yeah, and this person on... Twitter actually found the link. It was in the Microsoft store and it's gonna be called the Sims 4 Booming Rooms Kit. It's coming on November 9th, according to the leak. Um, and then this is the screenshot apparently that came with it. We'll go through that in here just a second. I just wanna see what else the post says. It says, since the apparent release date for the kit is so close, we can expect official news to come out soon regarding this kit. Stay tuned on our blah, 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 blah. So I'm thinking I'm releasing this on Monday. I'm recording it on Monday at 7 p.m. So it's going to be up kind of late. But I assume this is going to get officially announced um, tomorrow because they usually announce stuff on a Tuesday. I'm just hopping over to Twitter to see... Yeah, I don't, yeah, I didn't think they posted anything today, but while we're here, let's just see the Sims 4 Blooming Rooms kit. Let's just see if like anyone has posted about it, what people are saying. A Blooming Rooms kit for the Sims 4. I can finally become a plant gay without the actual responsibility of having to look after them. That's going to be me so hard. <laughs> Anyway, the newest kit has been leaked. Uh, Sims 4 Bloom Rooms kit. The, wait, the what? The <laughs> Meter Cabin 1. I don't support the Sims 4 kits. I think they're just a quick money grabbing scheme and the Sims 4 team should focus on base game updates. Sims 4 Bloom Rooms kit, hi, <laughs> me. That's a handsome man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, the Sims 4 Bloom Rooms kit, a plant kit for plants, plants, yas. My room after getting the Sims 4 Blooming Rooms kit. Absolutely. But that, yeah, I agree with all of that. But here's here's basically a photo of the assets or some of them. We don't even know if this is going to be all of them. But as you can tell by the title of this video, these are the kind of kits we need. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the Industrial Loft kit. Wasn't so crazy about Oasis Chic. Love the Country Kitchen kit. Um, I'm thinking of build by kits. What was another one? What was another build by kit? 
Country Kitchen, Oasis Chic, Industrial Loft. Wasn't there four? Wasn't there four kits? No, that's not what I want. <laughs> Wasn't there four kits? Four build by kits? I'm not sure. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Industrial Loft, Courtyard Oasis, Country Kitchen. Oh, okay, so there's only been the three. So Courtyard Oasis and Industrial Loft Kit. I Don't get me wrong. I love the Industrial Loft Kit. The, the Courtyard Oasis wasn't really my vibe. I still haven't used any of the objects or built anything with it yet. I do plan to, but I haven't yet. But when I say these are the kind of kits they need to release, these are the, like... Country kitchen kit, it gave us what? It gave us a whole new kitchen set, excuse me, and clutter for the kitchen. It gave us kitchen counters and clutter for the kitchen. I feel like with these build by kits, that's what they should kind of focus on is like one, like one area, like a bedroom, a bedroom kit, a kit. We already got a kitchen kit, a living room kit, a, a bathroom kit, a, a backyard kit, a front yard kit. Um, an exterior uh, build kit where it's all exterior stuff like windows and doors and paints and wallpapers and stuff like that. Like, I feel like the build by kits should kind of focus on that. Like with the industrial loft kit, we just kind of got a whole bunch of stuff that, I mean, yes, it works for an industrial loft, but like you kind of can't like, you can't build an entire house with just a kit right so if you gave us the kits if each kit was if each kit was revolved around one particular room in the house then we could use the kits as a whole to make a house or we could just use you know the plant kit here and there because it has nice plants or the kitchen kit here and there because it has a nice kitchen you see what I'm saying? I feel like this is the route build by kits should have gone in the beginning. So I don't know if I'm going to title this like these are the kind of kits we need or like is this the best kit ever created? But <laughs> um, yeah, these are definitely the kinds of kits we need where it focuses on one aspect of build by and, and it's just that. So this one is just plants. They could do another one of just lighting like give us more pendant lights give us more uh ceiling lights more lights that go on the wall more lamps more candles we don't have enough candles in this game <laughs> they could do one that's focused on windows one that's focused on doors one that's focused on exterior landscaping one that's focused on pool decorations one that's focused on clutter like that clutter for you could do a different you could do a different kit for clutter for each room. So kitchen clutter kit. That's a good name. A living room clutter kit. Bedroom clutter kit. Like I feel like this is where the kits should have been. This is what the kit should have been from the beginning. And stuff like Oasis Chic. And yeah. And stuff like Oasis Chic and Industrial Loft Kit. Should, should go in like packs. Like. They, sh they could have made an industrial loft stuff pack or an Oasis Chic stuff pack. And uh, they could have given us Moroccan style casts and along with the Moroccan style build and buy and made it a stuff pack and gave us like a hint of like Moroccan inspired gameplay. Or with the industrial loft kit, they could have given us, you know, industrial loft furniture that came with the kit and then maybe some... Uh, cast that could have been like boho or like city living type um cast and then giving us some gameplay that revolved around living in industry living in an industrial lot they could have tied it into something that came with eco lifestyle because eco lifestyle came with a like industrial um like zone or whatever you want to call it but yeah so basically my point is this is where the kits this is what the kits should be this is what the kit should be focused on one thing, focused on one room of the house or one type of object. In this case, it's plants. Like I said, it could be clutter or lights or shelving or 
hell, refrigerators, whatever the case may be. But let's look at some of these objects. And I can tell you one thing already that I'm kind of going to be upset about if this is not the case. Like we have several different objects here that are like shelving or like tables. So we have these, these tables right here, I'm pretty sure are tables just within themselves. Like they don't come with the stuff that's on top of them. I imagine the stuff that's on top of these tables are separate from the tables. While that's good, the tables are kind of obnoxious. They're kind of, they're kind of too much. Like who would have a table <laughs> that has this greenery like this? I probably won't use these tables unless I'm building like a, like a cafe or like some, some jungle themed restaurant or something like that. What is that restaurant that it is jungle themed? Oh, what is that restaurant that's jungle themed? Now I have to know. You'll you guys will probably know, but now I have to know or it's going to or it's going to kill me. Jungle themed restaurant. Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> I could build a rainforest cafe in the Sims and then I could use then I would use tables like these, but just in my everyday building I wouldn't use these tables. Um what else? And then we have this shelving unit back here, if you can see it. And it looks like some of the things on this shelving unit are going to be separate because this plant right here, if you can see my cursor, this plant right here is the same as this plant right here. It's just a different swatch. It's just a different swatch. So hopefully that means that's not going to be already like stuck on the counter. These boots Oh, those are nice. Hopefully those boots right there are a separate object because that would be really cool. This box right here, I imagine comes already on this counter and like maybe that already comes on this counter. I imagine this being separate, whatever that is. And maybe those are separate or may, no, those might already come on it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, hopefully, and then we have this object over here. Obviously, these are going to already be on there. That's not going to be stuff you put there. And then this object, same thing. Those are going to come already on it. And then we have these shelves up here. I love these shelves. I love this like modular kind of situation. The only thing is, if you look closely to this one and this one, the plants that are in those are hanging. So I feel like that's going to mean they they come already on these objects unless they just gave us small hanging plants that clip into these shelves, which would also be great. But I love the shelves in general. I just really hope they come in uh, neutral swatches. They should because the Sims team has been pretty good about that lately, putting you know your neutral grays and whites and blacks. So I'm sure these will come in neutral swatches, but hopefully they come in neutral wood tones. That's gonna be nice. Um, that back there looks like a base game object. This tree thing is new. This thing is new. It's also back here in a different swatch. I do like that. Here's another thing. I like that a lot. I wonder what this is back here. It's like a, it looks like, like a sack almost. I, I like, I like that a lot. Um, what else do we have? I imagine, like I said, all of these things on this table are separate. I'm really hoping this, yeah, I'm, this this little table moment, I hope doesn't come with anything already on it because that's that's a really nice like modern kind of mid-century modern maybe even uh, table. Like I would use this as a coffee table. It's kind of it's kind of too tall to be a coffee table, but I like that a lot. I was hoping this couch was new, but I was hoping this couch is new, but I'm pretty sure that's a base game couch. Pretty sure that's a base game couch. This rug kind of looks new, but I think that's a base game rug just in a swatch that I'm not used to. Um, yeah, I think that's a base game rug in a swatch that I'm just not used to seeing. Sorry if you hear the dogs growling back there, but I'm almost done with this video. These actually look like lights, which I don't mind, but I don't like that they have the plants attached to them. Like, I feel like this object could have been left out. Like, I'm not really... Like I like it, but again, I would not use that in everyday gameplay. That would go in my Rainforest Cafe build 100%, but just in like my everyday sim 
Sims house, like nah, not unless it was a plant sim, which I do plan on doing. I've n I haven't seen anyone do this on YouTube ever. Not that it's not out there, but I've never seen like the people I subscribe to. I've never seen them build a house for a plant sim. So I really want to do that when this kit comes out and I will do that. That will probably be the first thing I do. Um, and then other than all of that, we have all these hanging plants. I say all of these, but it's just the same few repeated a few times. So we get this one wall one, which is really nice. Um, let me go shut these dogs up. Sorry about that. I don't even know if you could hear them, but... <laughs> Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying, like, I said all of these, but they're just repeated. <laughs> they're just the same ones repeated. We have this wall hanging one. I like that. I like that it's a fern. It's kind of funky looking, but no complaints here. That right there, I think, is a base game object. Um, but this one's nice. We like that. We like that. The only thing that I would say is I wish they gave us more that like hang off the side. So like I wish they gave us a plant that was its own object that you could put on a dresser or a shelf and it would hang off of the side. Like this one back here looks like it's doing that, but I I'm I imagine that one not being a separate object. And then it's it's kind of a it's kind of ugly. <laughs> but I wish we had like stuff like this that could sit on a dresser or a shelving or something and hang off of the side but yeah anyway i like this one okay it looks like all of these are just going to be different swatches of the same thing does it it might come with this might come with vines because these if you look close like follow this and then follow this up that that's a vine that's a vine up there so that would be cool if we get vines that come with this pack <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Um, oh, I didn't even see this console table. So you have these tables and then a console table version as well. I don't, I'm not sure if this table back here is new or not. I imagine that's base game. Um, but these two right here are the same, just different swatches. I love this version of the plant. I've seen a lot of that in, in this version too, unless that's a vine. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. This video is already longer than I expected it to be, but I'm going to leave it right here. I'm excited for this kit. Um, like I said, I'm going to be building a house for a plant sim. I'm going to build a rainforest cafe. I'm going to build a apartment for a plant lover. I'm going to do so much crazy stuff with this kit. But to sum everything up, this is what kits should be. They should... Focus on one certain one particular type of object or one particular room in a house or an exterior or whatever. And I yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, anyway, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll always respond to your comments. And please hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly when I post my next video, exactly when I post it. And I will see you all then. Bye, guys.